Important interview questions. Hi viewers, I am Afreen Ali. I brought this video for HVAC Mechanical Engineer Interview 56 question and answer. Kindly subscribe my channel. HVAC 1. CFM equals velocity, usually 1500, asterisk area in SQFD, D, 2, squared asterisk, 2. 1 ton equals 12,000 BTU per hour equals 3.5. 3. Heat transfer coefficient, U. 1. BTU per hour. SQFD. Asterisk F equals 5.6782 Watt Kelvin. Thermal conductivity K. 1. BTU slash HR dot FT asterisk F equals 1.7 Kelvin. 4. Q4 what is CFM? Answer. Cubic feet minute. It is the unit of airflow. 5. Q5 what is aspect ratio? A ends it is the ratio between H T N length of the duct. Generally we take 1 to 2 can vary with space and size up till 1 to 4. 6. Q6 what is collar length? A ends it is the strip left at the joining of duct and machine. 7. Q7 what are the important things to be considered before selecting devices like AHUs and chillers? ANs for AHU, FCU for chilled water system equals CFM, static pressure, ton, capacity, air temp, water flow, GPM. For AHU, FCU for direct system equals CFM, static pressure, ton, sensible. For chiller, ton, outside air temp, GPM. Note. Sensible, 3.4 equals heating capacity. Static pressure to be considered to make fan selection. 1 GPM equals 2.4 ton. We need GPM in finding pipe gear. 8. Q8, what is pump supply fittings? AN thermometer, shut off valve, pressure gauge, strainer, test point, drain cock, union flexible connector, and eccentric reducer. 9. Q9 What is pumps return fittings? AN eccentric reducer, flexible connector, union test point, check valve, strainer, gate valve, check valve, temp sensors. 10. Q10 CFM distribution WRT the given floor plan. ANs use ductulator. 11. Q11 calculating loads WRT any plan by using software. ANs use HAP 4.32 or any to find the loads. 12. Q12 type of dampers. AN's fire dampers equals butterfly damper, non-return damper, motorized damper, fire damper, smoke damper, gravity damper. 13. Q13 types of motorized damper. AN's motorized volume damper, motorized fire and smoke damper. 14. Q14 types of grills and diffusers. ANs equals two-way, three-way, four-way, one-way, jet diffuses with fan. 15. Q15. What is VFD? ANs variable frequency drive. It is used to control the speed of motor by controlling the frequency applied to it. It is used with chillers, ahu, etc. Used to control the RPM of pumps. 16. Q16. How do you control or balance the chilled water? AN's double regulating valve in mainline return, usually controlled from return using drive. 17. Q17. How do you control the noise of vibration in the duct? AN's lining, NC35, and reinforcement. 18. Q18 temperature of water at outlet of chiller and inlet of ahu. 
at outlet of Chilla 6 to 7 carat C and at inlet of Ahu 7 to 8 carat C. At outlet of Ahu 10 to 11 carat C and at inlet of Chilla 13 to 15 carat C. 19. Q19 water primary pumps and secondary pumps. A end the pumps from Chilla to building is primary and in building transfer is secondary. 20. Q20 Ahu and FCU valve connection details. A end check my Ahu installation details video. 21. Q21 what is CFM value? A and CFM equals 0 0.417. 22 Q22 What are the refrigerants used in split unit? A and R22, R12, R34 Depends 23 Q23 What are duct heaters and why do we use them if we already have heating option in our who? Just to provide heating in some specific areas 24 Q24 What is valve and it's working? equals a and pressure dependent and pressure independent to control the flow of air and temp variable air volume pressure dependent the volume of air supplied by the terminal unit varies depending upon the static pressure sp in the primary air duct Pressure independent terminal units have flow sensing devices that limit the flow rate through the box. They can control the maximum and minimum CFM that can be supplied and are therefore independent of ESP in the primary air duct. Almost all HVAC systems installed or retrofitted at present have pressure independent valve terminals. Pressure independent systems can be balanced and will allow the correct airflow from each terminal. 25Q25 What is three-way valve and two-way valve? Where we will use them and why? ANS two-way valve equals it will regulate the flow as per demand and it will be fitted in the return line. Three-way valve equals if the AHU is closed and is running on min load then it will bypass connected to BMS. 26. Q26. What is duct gauge normally we use in buildings for cooling and for exhaust ducts? ANs for supply we use 22 gauge and for exhaust we use 18 gauge. 27. Q27 types of duct joints. A and slip joint, flange joints, etc. C. HVAC notes. 28 Q28 standard books for HVAC. A and we follow in duct designing our ashray and smackna. 29 Q29 what is smoke and light test. A and check HVAC smoke test and light test in internet. 30. Q30. What are the different methods used for duct sizing? A and equal friction, velocity, static regain. 31. Q31. How do you measure and control the noise level in a C system? A and noise level can be measured by dB meter, it can be controlled by providing acoustic to the unit panels. If the sound crosses the set noise criteria we have to go for sound attenuators. 32 Q32 What are the recommended pressure drop in chilled water pipes? A and 210 pascals per meter, 0.84 inches. 33Q33 Where do you use fire damper, splitter damper and non-return damper? AN's fire dampers, FD, are used to stop the fire wherever duct passes through fire wall. Splitter dampers, SD, are used to split the main duct for proportional air balancing. Non-return dampers, NRD, are used to stop the backflow of air in the duct. 
NRDs used an exhaust and ventilation system only. 34. Q34. What are the different types of exhaust fans used to extract the air? A. axial type propeller fan, forward curved, twin fan, direct driven centrifugal fan. 35. Q35. What are different duct shapes normally used? A. Ends rectangular, round, spiral, oval. 36. Q36. How do you control vibration of Ahu and chillers? A. Ends spring vibration isolators, rubbers, pads, kinetic chain, flexible bellows. 37. Q37. What is the difference between fav and cav? A. Ends variable air volume and constant air volume. 38. Q38 mentioned typical valve arrangement for chiller connection. AN's check internet for HVAC. 39. Q39 What do you consider while making plant room layout? Explain briefly. AN space, site orientation, plant room location, A, C unit, ready made or tailor made. 40. Q40 What are the different type of louvers used? Fresh air louvers, sand trap louvers, door louvers, acoustic louvers, supply air and return air louvers. Backdraft louvers. 41. Q41 Classify the different types of chillers. ANs air cooled and water cooled with compressors, reciprocating, screw, centrifugal and scroll chillers. 42. Q42 What are the standard test pressure for chilled water piping for industrial application? ANs test pressure 1.5 times of working pressure. 43. Q43 What are the securities checking in chillers? AN's flow switch chiller and pump interlocking, high pressure cut out, oil pressure switch, high suction superheat, antifreeze. 44. Q44 What are the temperature and RH required for human comfort? AN's 22 plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius and 50% RH. 45. Q45 at what temperature degree Fahrenheit and degree Celsius the same? 46. AN's minus 40 degrees Celsius. 47. Q47 which gas is used to purge the refrigerant line during the brazing? AN's nitrogen gas. 48. 1TR equals 365 to 400 C. 49. Q49. How much design velocity required in the main duct of an office building? ANS 900 minus 1150. How we install internal insulation in ducts? 51. Q51. What is the insulation thickness of inside and outside ducts? AN's 25 mm inside and 50 mm outside and ducts passing through unconditioned spaces. 52. Q52 difference between nominal capacity and actual capacity. ANCK on internet. 53. Q52 is this nominal capacity equal in every country? ANs yes. 54. Q54 How to find weight of duct? WT in kilogram equals 8.0318 x thickness x perimeter equals underscore underscore where perimeter of duct equals WXD squared 1000. 55. Q55 What are the different materials used for underground chilled water supply? AN's pre-insulated black steel pipe school 40 with rubber cladding. 56. Q56. How to find velocity, FPM. AN's we need to know GPM and friction. Then coincide them in a graph and you will get velocity. 
and for chilled water we need to know no of cycles per year in KSA equals 6 months asterisk 30 days asterisk 24 hours equals 4320 search for this value in the annex your of ASHRAE to find the FP The FPM you get will be for the roof. To get the FPM in risers take 20% of roof and to get in runners take 20% of risers. Thank you for watching for this video. This is Afrinali. If you like it, you have to like it. If you don't dislike it, dislike it. Please kindly subscribe my channels. Thank you for watching. We have to update more interview questions regarding our mechanicals, electricals and telecommunication as well thank you bye bye subscribe my channels thank you